So today I want to give an update about the uh, uh, 25 round magazine because the uh, salvage they made the 20 round but their magazine is kind of straight down and I don't like it. So I want something a little bit curved and uh, make the gun look a little bit more like assault rifle. So I went and to uh, I went to Sportman's guy and uh, bought this Plomax uh, from Marlin 795. This is a 25 round. So what I do is I saw a couple of video, two video actually that they uh, put the uh, salvage magazine on top and then the uh, mulling magazine on the bottom. So actually the uh, salvage magazine is kind of a little, little bit longer so I cut about half, almost like half of it off. Yeah. So what you do is you put that magazine onto the uh, rifle and then you mud it down where the magazine is going to be lined up with the stock and which is what I do. So this is the piece that coming from the Pro Mag that uh, it not quite going into the uh, savage rifle so I took that piece off as, as from there so, so the spring is from the bottom here I tried to use the piece from a savage magazine but I, I can't get it to work so I'll just maybe just toss throw it in the trash and for that piece that come with the Plomax, I, I uh, sand it a little bit on the top. Usually it's round. So I, I, I make that as close possible to the uh, um, Savage Magazine thing. Yep, and there you go. So, also I sand a little bit uh, from the uh, Plomax, uh, from the Plomax magazine to line up with the uh, rifle stock. And I put uh, JB bolt in there, but I don't put too much like the other two videos that I saw it looks so ugly <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that but yeah I make it look a little bit better and we'll touch up the uh, hammer paint that from uh, from Kryon so I will touch up with the paint and then uh, when I paint dry, we'll put everything back on and we'll go from there. We'll show you how to look on a gun, I mean on a rifle. I did try and everything is going really smooth in there. I don't have to um, file or uh, send anything from the magazine because everything is going really smooth down there. I don't know the other guy they say that you had to foul every uh, little thing or corner or, or, or corner or whatever's in there but in my case it just fit perfect like in there this little piece that will be pushing up and down the uh, uh, bullet it's it's really going up and down really smooth so I don't have to do much bullet 
So what I do is I spray paint into uh, some kind of cup and I actually cut a bottle of water on the, the bottom piece of the bottle of water. And then the reason I use that um, hammer to uh, finish because it will make the, the uh, magazine look a little bit natural. So what you do is use the little paintbrush and then just touch up with the, this paint here. Okay. So just do a little bit, not too much. There you go. That's all, that's, that's all you do. Yeah, anything that it's our um, cover that thing, it, it just, or oh, it's our, the edge, just use some paper towel to wipe it off and then it'll be good to go. See that? That's how it look. Now that looks, it looks, um, natural when it dry it's it will be very beautiful and you you probably can't even tell that you put some, some kind of jb up in there there you go yep so just a little bit not too much if you put too much it will, it will drip on something so yeah that's how I look at I will finish everything and I'll we'll go from there okay so I got everything set to go here so here's how I look on the uh, magazine and as you notice I put the uh, a little piece of foam cushion in there to make the magazine sit a little bit um, tighter onto the rifle. There you go. And there's no wiggle. Because the um, Sauer 64 magazine, it's kind of loose in there. So no matter what you do, it's still uh, wiggling. So that's why I put the uh, foam pack in there. To make it a little bit tighter and got more uh, tension like a spring in there see that that's how it's sick and when you push it it'll just push it up there you go so what I do is I put some uh, it's air to lubrication that I have in my garage so just a couple drop in there Soaking on a paper towel. Yeah. Think that's way too much. So yeah. couple drop won't hurt anything. Okay. Put in there and run it through. This is too big. It's way too big. Some one off. Okay. Put in there. <clears throat> You don't have to do it, but I, I do myself anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I should do it. Same thing in the back.
that is to clean everything that to and is to lubricate the uh, the magazine too. We'll do one more and then that's it. There you go. It's pretty nice green here. Okay, so next thing I want to do is just line up everything. And it have a uh, bigger one in and smaller one in. So that's where that bigger uh, size is going to go. So then yeah, smoothly. Okay, so next thing you want to do is see that bigger part and smaller part and this is going there same thing and this little two little point is going to come out yeah just hold it with your finger Be careful so i don't think i should shoot up in the roof and then little locking crick and uh, locking He's gonna go in there. Yep, it's locking there. Push all the way in. Hmm, why am I gonna go in there? Am I doing well? Maybe. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, my genius. Yeah, I do well. So, put it back in there. There you go. Now everything is in there. So that's how we go. Okay. So, we'll try to feed the. Uh, uh, bullets in there, see how many round it can hold. I heard something really good about the uh, Akira the subsonic uh, solar point too. Haven't tried, but I like the uh, Noma Tex 22 better than the Akira. But uh, I need to go do a couple uh, platters and uh, Shining the scope to make it uh, a little bit better, but um, for now, I just want to try to see how many rounds can go in there. So, this is a 50 round, and we'll do half of it 50 round, that's a 55. I mean, it's 25, I'm sorry. So, so, half of it is a 25. Let's see how many. It can fit in there. So one I'm going really smooth. Two three twenty five. There you go. See that? That's twenty five around there. We'll put in there and see make sure that thing has luck. Go, luck. It's not gonna fire. So make sure that it's luck. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Click here. Ooh, that's really tight. Okay. Let's see if it's Jane. Yep, it's not jamming at all. See that? Mm. Wow, look at that. <laughs> See that? Three rounds, four rounds, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 
17, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, oh, I next one. That's it. No jam at all. Ooh, really good. So no jam, everything going really smooth. Make sure nothing in there. Yep, you're good. See that? Nothing in there. Wow, I like it. No problem. No problem at all. Everything went smoothly. Okay, let me know what you think about the uh, uh, 25 round modification, 25 round flow mag mulling 795 into a Savage 64. That's really good. Yep. Okay, then that's it. Uh, the reason I modified this because the uh, Savage, I um, mean the Savage magazine, 20, 20 round magazine is from Canada and it might, we might have some problem um, to get it into the United States so that's why and it costs I check online it costs about $42 to 57 but the Plomax it's only $19 from a local store local um, uh, sporting good yeah if you buy online it's probably cost about $15 $16 plus shipping but I bought this um, on my local uh, sportsman's guide and it's $19 cheaper than the um, um, Savage magazine. So that's how you do it. It saved a lot of money and it's more uh, capacity than the uh, Savage magazine too. Because the Savage magazine only holds um, 20 round, but this Pro Max is, it will hold 25 round for sure. And it's really going really smooth, just like what I showed you guys there. All right. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next video.